Are you ready to up your quilting game? Today is all about leveling up. Keep watching. Hi, it's Donna Robertson. And Hannah with Fabric Cafe. You know, a lot of times when beginners start quilting, they are afraid to leave those block, mm -hmm. block, 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 blocks. They just want squares. Mm -hmm. Well, today we're going to tell you how to overcome those fears and learn some new blocks. It's a new year, new you. Maybe you want to try something new? All right, let's get started. Now, the very first one that we're going to talk about is attraction. And I will have to admit that people have said, how do you suspend this little square in the middle of that other square? It just doesn't make sense when you look at it. But we've got an easy way to make that happen. So let's put that up on the table and we'll get started with attraction. Oh, yeah. So, you know, when I designed, I'm, I'm always talking about when I designed this mm -hmm. quilt, such and such. But I know when I designed this quilt, I was concerned about making it super simple and easy to understand. If you'll hand me the cropping tool, I want to show them right off the bat how this block is made. And the reason I want to do that is because I want you to have no fear. So we're going to start off with, you, you're going to see the whole block here. But how do we start? Well, we're going to start with this, the very first thing. We're going to just shrink this all the way down. And you're going to make that little piece. Oh. And it's done with strip piecing. Just okay. super simple. And you're going to do that twice because you've got the same little uh, two strips up here. That oh, that's this, great. If you've ever made a nine patch, uh -huh. that center block is made with three pieces. And it's the same thing here now. And my that's patch easy. is a great one for <laughs> beginners, yeah, that's right? that's true, yeah. And then guess what happens after you make that center? Whoops. After you make that center like this, all you're going to do is then add a side piece. Ta -da! That's awesome. It's just super easy. So it looks kind of complicated, mm -hmm. but it's when you break it down, it's very easy. Yeah. And our pattern instructions are very clear at breaking that down. Now we're switching fabrics, so let me tell you about these fabrics. Oh, this is, and I happen to know the designer on these, and I yes. have to say she's amazing. <laughs> Yes, it is one of my lines and I loved it. It was from the Enchanted Garden mm -hmm. line and I had so much fun designing this and having the little flowers and yeah. all there. It's fun. So this is our number one fabric and the number one fabric is everywhere that you see the aqua color. Mm -hmm. And then our number two fabric is going to go in this section right here. And it actually appears in every one of the blocks. Oh. And we've alternated it. So here we have the aqua with the purple in the middle. Mm -hmm. And over here we have the purple with the aqua. And okay. It, and it adds a lot of interest to the quilt to make the same block, but just make Multiple it with different ways. Yeah. Mm. And it makes it easy to make too, because you just keep making the same block. Yeah. Once you got it down, it's just go right. on. <laughs> <laughs> then our number three fabric is going to be this green. And that green is going to be everywhere that you see the purple. So one of the things that uh, I want to point out to you is how quick and easy this will go together because mm -hmm. of making those little pieces first. They're just mm -hmm. little baby steps. So anytime that you feel a little fear, remember, it's a baby step. <laughs> and there's an image on our screen that you'll want to see here. So it's oh, the peaceful garden. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. I love that peach really makes the, the green and the teal pop off the quilt very nicely. Yes. So this one is called Peaceful Garden. It's 8023051 and the pattern is called Attraction from Easy Peasy. Next up we've got It's a Snap and It's a Snap looks pretty complicated when you're looking at it but really it's four very basic blocks that you can definitely make. You just have to rotate them in different ways to get this beautiful cascading effect. So let's put it on the table. And we have pieces and we parts. Do. I'm very excited. And this is a fun video for me too because I didn't start quilting until I came to Fabric Cafe. So this is good for me because I'm ready to, you know, branch out and make slightly more complicated things. And so I'm learning a lot today too. First off, uh, We've got some beautiful fabric. So we're gonna go ahead and look at those and then I'm gonna show you the pieces and parts. So wait with bated breath. <laughs> We've got this beautiful floral for our number one. It's this nice watercolor with all these beautiful pops of teal and peaches. 
that's going to go in your number one block, which is the, the kind of medallion blue over here. Then we've got our number two, which is this nice texture, like a creamy texture, which picks up the cream back here. And that will be in your number two position, which is your background, allowing all the cascade blocks to show up. And then we've got this blue, like turquoise teal, which I love. Mm -hmm. It goes so well with these, like the floral and some of the leaves. That will be uh, your other block over here, your number three, and on the border. And there's one point to make on this too, is the, again, the importance of contrast. Mm. Because you need to have the contrast, the, the light color in the background, but you need that dark color to also be a contrast so mm -hmm. you can see the stacked blocks, the cascading yeah, blocks. That's very true. So let's look at our pieces and parts. So like I said, you're just making four different blocks. Now I'm gonna open the, the book so that I have a cheat sheet for me. Because <laughs> I haven't made this one yet. All right. <laughs> So first off, you just have a nice strip piece right here. So it's one strip with a strip assembly right here. And that's going to be over here in this corner. Very good. Then you make the exact same block, but into a different colorway, a different combination. You have it with your number two, and then a strip set with your number two and your number three. And that's going to go right here. So you have your nice match up right there. Then you make a four patch. That it's was the very easy. first block you've it ever was. made. It was, <laughs> yeah. And it's super easy. So <laughs> great some jumping off point. And you just stick that right here and you can already see that, and we still have seam allowances on so they overlap a little, but you can already see this nice design happening. And then for the, the little cherry on top, all it is, is one block of focus and you put that right here that is great would and you like the font would you like the cropping <gasps> yeah well I congratulations out. <laughs> <laughs> look at that oh. that is great so you can see it's just like it's so it's so easy it can go mm -hmm. to you just have to make four simple blocks and then voila you got your quilt you know, the good thing about this video um, is that we are breaking each and every step down for you so you can not feel overwhelmed by it all because it really is easy. Mm -hmm. The kit information on this one, 8023053 Artist's Garden. And that's the It's a Snap pattern, which is from the Pretty Darn Quick book. This one is another great one that shows you a quilt, it looks like it's complicated, but it's not. So we're gonna break that down for you. This one is called Corner Play. And I like Corner Play so much that I have a version of it hanging in my <laughs> office so that I can see it right straight across from mm -hmm. uh, my desk. And I love it. And we've got beautiful batiks. Mm -hmm. These are a batik look-alike mm -hmm. uh, printed fabric, <laughs> but these are really batiks. And I love the way when you coordinate your batiks, just getting interesting color combinations because there's so many different colors mm -hmm. in there. And I think this one's really a cool one. So mm -hmm. and you've got pieces and parts. I have too. pieces and parts too. Yay. I forgot. Pieces and parts extravaganza <laughs> today. <laughs> well, with this particular block, it is super easy to make. You're going to make, again, one block and you're going to make the same block in two different color ways. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start off with this one. And we start with a square right down here, two squares or a strip piece, mm -hmm. and make this unit here. Then we put a piece on the side, and then we put another piece on this side, <laughs> and then we put one here. So you're just kind of going, you know, and the, there's illustrations that show mm -hmm. you exactly how to do that. Oh, yeah. So this is going to be um, this block. Your one, your fabric number one is gonna mm -hmm. go on the outside edge. And then you make the same block, and that one is going to go right here. Then you make it in another color way. Oh. And that one then will go right here. See how it's all coming together? Oh yeah. It's pretty cool, isn't it? And then the last one is gonna go right down here. And if you'll hand me the cropping tool, oh, yeah. I'll crop out some of that background color so that you can really see how this is going to look. That is stunning. Isn't it beautiful? That, ooh, 
Ooh. I always feel like an artist when I work with batiks. Uh huh. So. Because it also kind of looks like what you were saying with all the different colors. It looks like you worked with more fabrics than you did. It, I know because this one, like, you know, it has the more the uh, rusty color where up here you've got the the kind of a mustardy color yeah. in there. It looks great. And, you know, we have a video where we talk even more about corner play and show different fabrics in corner play. So maybe you want to check out our one block tutorial as That's well. Right. Awesome. OK, fabric number one is this beautiful swirl here. Mm -hmm. And like I said, that's going on the outside edge. Then you're going to have your fabric number two. And this is going to be the lighter fabric for that to go here mm -hmm. in the, the second block that you make. And then your fabric number three is going to be this fabric. Mm. So this one is gorgeous and it's just mm. going to meld together so beautifully. Yeah. This one's called Incoming Tide 8023052 and it's corner play from the book Pretty Darn Quick. So this pattern is favorite things and I feel very close to this one right now because I just made a quilt of favorite things. I used Halloween fabrics and it's turned out awesome. I just have a couple borders to put on. So let's put it on the table and I'm gonna walk you through how to make this block. This was a really fun adventure for me. I think this is a really great step from um, doing lots of blocks and things because it looks kind of complicated. Like how do you get the corner on there perfectly? But it actually is probably one of the fastest quilts I've made. <laughs> <laughs> it just went like zipped through. So, um, I want to show you the fabric and then I'm going to walk you through how to make the block and then I've got my guru here so she can help along the way too. So first off, we've got uh, these beautiful winter trees and that's going to go in your number one position, which is the light blue in this quilt. Then you've got your number two, which is this beautiful like wintry snowfall on light blue, which is going to be your background right here. And then we have the same print, but in a different color way. We've got blue trees, and that's going to be on your number three position, also on the border with the number one. So this one, I love this pattern, and I put it together in Halloween fabrics. And we had, a, my inspiration came from, we had a motor rep come and she showed us a lot of new fabrics and gave us some old samples. And they were all these different Halloween blocks and they were just the right size to put in this. And I'm like, hmm. Mm. So they're all different <laughs> Halloween blocks. So How cool. Yeah. I can't wait to see that. I know. It's almost done. Just just like one more border. Awesome. So I'm gonna hand this to you, Donna. All right. And then we're gonna walk through how to put this block together. So I need a couple supplies. First off, very simple base. You have one block of your focus fabric. And then you have one block of your number two fabric. Cool. That's it. And what you're wanting to do is, I'm gonna put this on the side, you're going to take your, fo your number two fabric and you're gonna draw a line on it to get the diagonal. And it's very important, <laughs> flip it over. <laughs> you don't wanna draw on the pretty side of the fabric. So you're gonna flip it over to the, the back side of the fabric and you're gonna draw a, just a diagonal line across it. So you'll take your ruler and I don't know, I always just kind of eyeball this step, Donna. I don't know if you have any tips or anything No, on I just that. like the, the edge of the ruler to go right through the corners on each side. I have a question for you. Okay. Now I know you can use a water soluble marker and mm -hmm. that's probably preferable, but when I was making this, it was in the throes of, I wanna make a quilt. And, and I only had a pencil. <laughs> yeah, I was at home and I only had a pencil. Uh, thoughts, do you think okay, not okay? I think pencils are okay. Mm -hmm. I would be careful about using an ink pen mm -hmm. because an ink pen being like a liquid could run in your fabric. And it also yes. doesn't wash out well, so it could stain. So a pencil, yes, I, I've used pencils for life because that's going to be actually cut right through so you won't even see the pencil mark. <laughs> So Perfect. yes, when in need, you <laughs> invent. <laughs> yes, I love it. Okay. Okay, so then we'll have our trusty pencil. And then you just draw, beep. Oh, well, I didn't do that very good, but. Walk those fingers. <laughs> yep. But you know what? You'll be able to tell which line it is. Yes. And you don't have to be perfect. That's it's right. It's fine. 
no one sees that part anyway, except you and your long arm quilter. And if you are your long arm quilter, then you're get to fine. know her well so she won't judge you. <laughs> exactly. So now you have your little square with our little diagonal line across it. Mm -hmm. And then you take your focus block mm -hmm. and you stick it right on the corner. And you're going to sew on your diagonal. Now, just a word of warning. Um, you can use a directional fabric in this pattern very easily. All you have to do is make sure that you put your corners on the right side. So like here, my directional fabric is going the way I want it to, and I need my squares on these sides. So you just have to make sure, okay, you can fold it up if you want to see. Yes, this is the way I want it to go. So it's, it's all hunky-dory, but super easy to use directional fabrics. You can mm -hmm. use it for your one and your three. So I'm going to, can I hand you that? Okay. Do you want to tell them about sewing or is that your next That's step? That's my next block. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so then you sew directly on your diagonal line. So that's, yeah, you can't even see the line really anymore. So it's like, you hide <laughs> it with your seam, it's fine. And here, I wanted to tell you a story. Okay. So when I was, your next step is to cut. And uh, when I went to cut it, you're supposed to cut a quarter inch from your seam. Well, I... I don't know, I was being silly, and I made a practice block. Mm -hmm. Recommend that for you, for anyone, use your scraps. And I was putting it up here, and I was like, how am I supposed to know if that's exactly a quarter inch? And how am I supposed to get it consistent? So I tried my best, and I did it, and I made my practice block, and I'm like, this looks bad, what is going on? And then I realized, if you just, and I'm gonna move it so I can do it like this a little bit. You lay the quarter inch line on your ruler on the seam, and then you cut off from there. And it's consistent, it's the same every time. So <laughs> that, that, is, <laughs> that is great. And you, there's no better way to learn than to solve an issue. Yeah. I mean, it, it won't ever leave your brain. Yeah, ex yep. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I've got it in there now. It just didn't click for So some show us that one more time. So you take your quarter inch seam on your, or line on your mm -hmm. ruler, and you lay it directly onto your seam. Then you're going to cut this corner off, and then you've got your pattern. Now, just one thought on rulers, mm -hmm. share a little tidbit. This ruler has uh, like dashed lines for your quarter inch, mm -hmm. but some of them do have straight lines that go all actually you know what to make this see you see this better i'm going to slide this underneath mm -hmm. and you can see this one has a straight line that goes all the way through for your quarter inch so oh so you don't have to wonder which one of those dashed yeah. lines is the quarter inch yeah so maybe that's helpful when you're going through and looking at it or maybe you don't care but whatever works best for you well that was a really good tip thank you mm -hmm. i see i'm learning and has any, have any of you done the ruler thing that I did? And would you be willing to share and make <laughs> me feel better in the comments that you did it too? <laughs> so after you, you uh, let me bring that back. After you cut it off with your quarter inch, you're going to press it and you're going to end up with this nice corner all laid flat. Let's fold this back so they can see. Mm -hmm. What a nice Oh, and I'm scene. a rebel. I press them open. <laughs> yes. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> we both like to do that. <laughs> yeah, let us know your thoughts on that one. And so it's super easy, makes up super well. You just do it to the other corner, and you end up, I'm just going to send you these things, mm -hmm. clear the space a little. You're going to end up with a completed block with both your corners done. And your and trees you going the right way. Yeah, and your trees <laughs> going the right way. And you slap it on your quilt. Very good. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's great. And the kit information on this is 8023055 Snowy Stroll. And the pattern is Favorite Things, which is from the Make It Christmas book. It is only available in that book, so your alternate pattern suggestion is Dash. And the next one that we're going to talk about is Art Deco. And I like Art Deco because it's another one of those little one block wonders where you make one block in two different colors and then you put them together and you get this delightful diamond right in the middle of your block. Show you how it works. 
talk about some show-stopping boutiques. Ah, yeah, this will get your attention. Uh -huh. <laughs> attention, attention, may I have your attention, please? Uh, it's a beautiful quilt. We love it. It mm. is fun. It is just, it's a yummy color mm. combination. Oh, yeah. So this is going to be our number one, and it's going to go here. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put that diamond right in the middle of that to make oh. it go zing. Yeah. And then it'll also be on the border. Oh, and then our number two fabric is going to go in the second block. So you're making these squares and um, alternating them mm -hmm. whenever we put it together and we'll block that out. And that will go with the aqua as well. If you'll hand oh. me the cropping tool, I'll show them how this block is made. You have some pieces and parts, too. Oh, I have pieces and parts. Okay, well, I'll show you really quick. And uh, here is the block. So you can see that we have this little corner uh, that we have done exactly like you just did. <gasps> oh, yeah. The ones for the, it was a little bit bigger square, mm -hmm. but it's made exactly the same way, but it only has one corner. So it will go together even faster. <laughs> even faster. A little bit less sewing on that kind uh -huh. of a concept. So now you can look at that and see that we're now taking each of these blocks and then we're just simply turning them and putting them together. So let's get our little blocks over there so we can show you. So this is the, the one block wonder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to place that right here. And once again, you can really see how the coloration of the uh, batiks kind of change from court from piece to piece as we put it on here. This will be our number two and we do always leave our seam allowances on when we're showing you. And then this one here and this one here. And it is just gorgeous, isn't it? So easy. You just yeah. shuffle it around. Mm -hmm. huh. And then you make the same block with the other colorway, and voila, you've got it. These are the best kind of patterns because they're super easy, go together super fast, but they look like you did something really hard. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best. Well, you know, and that's what you do. You just learn how to do, like you were showing us on yours, and you had bigger pieces to work mm -hmm. with. But once you learn that, yeah. voila, you can do this, and it's just it's just taking it to another level. Oh, yeah. All right, this one is called Carnival Row. It's 8-0. 22573. It is the Art Deco pattern from Easy Does It, which is only available in that book. So we do have the alternate pattern of Dominique. Our next one is Landslide. And I know what you're thinking. If you're a little intimidated by half square triangles, don't worry. This is a great place to start. So let's put it on the uh, table and talk more about it. I haven't really done any half square triangles. And I think this is a perfect place to start because you have these really large half square triangles. Mm -hmm. So if you're intimidated by it, you have a lot more, I guess, um, territory to work with. Right. So it's not as scary. You're not working with like little ones. Well, you know, when you first start writing, you write mm -hmm. with the big fat pencils and the big wide lines. And <laughs> <laughs> that's true. So you start with your big old half square triangles. <laughs> I love that analogy. Perfect. Well, and it creates such nice movement in this quilt, too. It's got that nice, like, diagonal line up the quilts. Mm -hmm. So, just stunning. So, if you're wanting to delve into half square triangles, start here. We have these super fun little lions and tigers. So <laughs> I know. They make me laugh. I mean, <laughs> they, just, they look surprised mm -hmm. well, or excited about <laughs> something. Quilting. Quilting. They're excited <laughs> about quilting. They're so sweet. I love those. And those are going to go in your big block right here. And then your half square triangles are gonna be made from your second fabric, which is your light blue dot, which is gonna go everywhere you see the dots in this. It's like their eyes. <laughs> they have a little it blue is. in them. <laughs> that's true, it's picking up their eyes. Oh, that's so cute. Perfect, see? Yeah, I gotta have more than one quilter look at the things. <laughs> and then you've got your number three, which is your other part of your half square triangle, and it's a super fun, tropical leaf. Oh, that is so cool. And you know, if you want more tips on half square triangles, we have a great video on That's half square true. triangles. So make sure if you're not already a subscriber that yeah. you do subscribe and click the button and mm -hmm. then you can check out our tutorials as well. Yeah, you gotta make sure you see all of it. We have an extra treat for you. We've got an image on the screen of this quilt all made up in landslide. So you can see just what those little lions and tigers and the tropicals gonna be. 
I think that turned out like awesome. It's so cute. And read the contrast on that is so nice too. Mm -hmm. It really shows that diagonal line. Mm -hmm. Well, your kit information on that is 8023054 Lion's Roar. And the pattern is Landslide, which is from Quilt in a Jiffy. That's only available in Quilt in a Jiffy, but our alternate pattern is Garden Path. So we hope we helped you overcome some of your fears in quilting and that you feel ready to tackle that next challenge and up your game. And one of these days, you'll look back and laugh on your mistakes just <laughs> like Hannah was doing. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's Hannah. And Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe.